What's up, my friends? I'm Andrew Rip. It's very good to see you all. Thanks for coming out this evening. I like the earlier show vibe. We're usually not playing yet. This feels right. We don't play until like eight or nine. We came out here to have a little early party, and who knows, we might wind up on the beach later. I walked out there to the beach. This is an incredible part of the country right here. You guys live in a beautiful place. So, um, I don't know, uh, you guys You guys met Rachel earlier. How fantastic is she? <laughs> Top-notch human being. Rachel lives down the street from me. Rachel Lampa is who I'm talking about. Um, there were two Rachels on the stage tonight. Yeah. And um, Rachel lives down the street from me. Our families are super close. Her husband is like one of my brothers, and um, our kids play together all the time. So it's always fun to be able to get time with her out here on the road. And, you know, we make a lot of songs together already, so it's like we might as well play them together on occasion. Woo! It's always such a blast. I'm glad you guys enjoyed her. Yes. She'll come visit again. So a little, little bit of backstory with me. I came from kind of the pop singer-songwriter world. I did a lot of writing for other people back a couple decades ago. I'm actually, I'm, I might look like I'm younger, but I'm 64 years old. I'm, <laughs> I'm kidding. But I'm not 24, I'm 41. And um, people tell me that all the time. I'm like, dude, I don't look like I'm 24 years old. I think you're just trying to like get free merch or something. <laughs> um, but anyway. I, I had a, a moment, 2015 or 16, where I felt like God was calling me away from music altogether. I was having panic attacks on the road because it was just my body was responding to an overworking mentality, a striving mentality that really kind of took me off the road. And I thought I was done with music. I thought God was totally calling me away from it forever. So I sold this guitar on Craigslist and was moving on. I thought I was gonna build houses with my wife. She's a designer. And um, I was like, all right, sounds great. That's a reasonable job. I like working with my hands and creating things, so let's go for it. And I got into, um, got into my first project working. I was doing some like landscaping in my backyard, and then I started turning the radio on back there and tuning into whatever station I could get. And I remember maybe week two of building this kind of like pergola deck, all, all this stuff. I cranked into this one station, and it was a Christian music station I heard. Um, uh, uh, what was the song? It was a, a Bethel song called uh, You're Not Alone. No, no, no. You're Gonna Be Okay. Anybody know that song? Jen Johnson sings it. Anyway, if you don't know it, you should check it out. It was brought me a lot of hope in this moment where I was like totally lost. I didn't know where God was calling me, but I knew it was like I wasn't supposed to know yet. You know, you ever have that shift from one gear to another one and you don't have the answer yet? You haven't found the gear? That was me. And... Um, I had this moment where I realized very quickly I was not on the quest to find a new job. I was on a quest to find my identity without my guitar because I had been playing so long and I had my whole worth wrapped up in this thing. What I found was I'm equally as worthy without it as I was with it. It was a beautiful gift to recognize that because what happened in that moment was I gained a new perspective of not only living my life out of this place of freedom but also a place of writing songs out of a place of freedom. So it was no longer about my art taking care of me, but it was actually about me taking care of whatever this art was, which to me, my art comes from the Lord hopefully speaking through me and me getting myself, my ego and my pride out of the way. So when y'all hear these songs, they aren't affected by Andrew Rip. They were given to us by the divine. So that's the hope. And one of the first songs I wrote out of that spirit was a song called Rescue Story, which a guy named Zach Williams wound up hearing, made it better, and cut it insane. And I had this moment with that song where, um, I don't know, during that period of time, I was writing a lot in my journal, and I remember writing in that journal dreams that I used to have that I was giving away. And if you've ever been in contact with somebody who wanted to be a musician, every musician has a dream of being at the Grammys one day. So I wrote that. I was like, I'm just going to give you this dream. Cut to two years later, Zach cuts that song, gets nominated for a Grammy. And there I was in L.A. It's amazing what will happen. If you give the dream that you think is yours to God, he will give his dream to you. 
for you, the one that he wrote for you. There's a story, there's a rescue story in each one of us. So I'm gonna play you that song. I don't sound anything like Zach, but I can try. You wanna hear me try a song, Zach Williams? There I was, empty hand I need like a full pack of cigarettes and a bunch of whiskey. I can't handle that right now. This guy, I've been sober for 15 years. Tonight is not the night to throw that away. It's not. I appreciate that. All right, y'all, here we go. This rescue story. Shadows holding out your hand, you met me there. 